right, so Mike decided that he was not going to work the rest of this week. So this weekend is July the 4th weekend and I wanna work on the trailer. So I'm gonna have to move my schedule around and I have to put the Tahoe on the back burner and I need to get this door off of this trailer this morning so Mike can TIG weld all of the uh, joints. We need to fix the hinge. We got a list of little things that we need to do. I'll probably gotta run to the metal yard, grab some metal real fast. Uh, but basically I need Mike to get his welding work done so that I can actually rebuild the metal on the face of the door right here and I can change out the latch put new wood on the inside of it and then change this sheet of aluminum right here that way we can paint this whole thing so we can get this thing painted on the outside because like i said i ordered the winch it's on the way it should be here hopefully this weekend so uh it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow so hopefully it doesn't pour so much to soak in the inside of the trailer but i'm gonna try to yank this door off this morning uh, get all the screws out of it get it off and get it inside on a bench so that we can start uh bending things back putting things back in square and um uh, re-welding uh, re-welding items up so let's get at it all right so as you can see we have a lot of issues with this door so. and now we have more <laughs> Mike's about to be here and I'm gonna discuss this with him, but I think that this thing is so thin, I don't know if he's gonna to want to re-weld uh, this uh, pieces back together, or if he's gonna say, just go buy new stuff and we'll basically build a new frame. But wood's decently damaged. I think the wood's fine. I think all I need is the outer skin and the inner skin and the aluminum, I'll just, I'll just leave that. Um, that should be okay, I guess. Not the end of the world. If anything, I'll cut that and put like a two by four in this corner to get rid of that. But uh, yeah, and then down here is just all of this is just tore up across the bottom. So the bottom definitely uh, would need something done with it. Um, and then, like I said, all of the corners are just broke, ripped open. They've been welded. They've been fixed before. So. I'm thinking the outer frame is gonna be easier to run to the metal yard and grab two pieces of 90 and just rebuild this basically. You know, we'll rebuild it, have everything rebuilt besides this little outer trim maybe. And technically I could probably cut this and put this back over it, you know, but just rebuild the structure. So I don't know, I gotta talk to Mike when he gets here and see what he's thinking and then we're gonna get some metal. All right, so Mike has decided that uh, we will fix what we got there, that there's really no reason to rebuild all of that and lose the way that it looks from the factory. So what he has me doing is I'm running over here to Southern Metals where we buy all of our uh, metal and they've had an aluminum shortage. So hopefully they have what I need because uh, man, I really need it right now. Um, I need to get some aluminum 90 and some aluminum flat stock and we're basically on all the joints we're gonna build uh, patches um, to basically scabs to go over the joints that like we're gonna weld the joints back together and then he's gonna scab them to uh, beef them up so that they hopefully don't tear again and once you get it screwed into the trailer the you know the frame screwed into the trailer you get all your support from it being screwed in but uh, you still want to try to support all of the joints that you can. So let's go over here and grab what metal we need and then get back to the shop and uh, get this frame knocked out. All right, so here's all the bent up scrap that we can find that we'll use. It's got some straight runs in it that will work perfect for what we need and uh, should be able to get this for cheap. $7 for everything we needed. Man, I love Southern Metals. If y'all don't have a Southern Metals or something like that near y'all that sells just scrap metal, I feel bad for you, especially if you're into this kind of stuff that I'm into. Seven bucks for all of this metal.
So we got it just stuck back on there. We got four screws in it. Um, me and Mike did the best we can with the frame. The hinges just aren't, they just aren't gonna work, man, right now. I mean, the rod is just falling all out of everything. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can get it focused, but that rod right there just does not want to stay in side of, um, inside of its places where it goes. And then when you get down here, like you can't really see it back there, but you can kind of see it. It's like pop, like it's not inside of nothing. There's areas where it's inside and there's areas where it's out, you know. Like right there, you can see how the rod is basically out and it should be here. It's just, everything's all jacked up, man. So uh, at least the frame is done now. So the outside frame is welded together. Uh, so I put four screws in it. I'll get it to the house this weekend, July 4th and weekend, and take it back out, lay it on the bench and then reskin the outside of it, reply with the inside of it, and then go ahead and change out that piece of metal right there. That way we move forward with painting the trailer as soon as I can and then what Mike said we'll do is that he'll come in here we me and him or I'll either buy some or we'll build some we'll actually build some hinges that just go across it unfortunately it's not what I wanted to do but uh it's what's gonna have to be done somehow is put some hinges in here so I guess whenever I go to change this out right here I need to make sure I've got a block in there in case we need to bolt anything uh to it so that's gonna be uh it for right now until we get to the house uh the actual frame around the door itself needs to be uh addressed uh, a lot of these welds need to be grinded down they're just you know i mean this stuff was terrible to weld all this stuff needs to be bent back so i still got a ton of work on this door uh this door is there the was me. a way i could just buy a door for affordable but it's like all the doors that i've seen online were either the wrong measurements or they were like a thousand freaking dollars for a door man kind of defeats the purpose of doing a trailer yourself um and not paying top dollar if you're going to go out and spend a thousand on a door alone after we've spent money on everything else uh we'll still be in the trailer way less than you know what this size trailer or this style uh setup would cost you new but it also gets to a point like i put a pre-bid of 750 dollars on another trailer that was bigger than this this morning so i'm still actively always looking for something better even if i'm in the middle of fixing something um you know it gets to a point where i could go bid on uh you know i would still never go buy one new but i could go put a bigger bid on another wreck trailer that maybe wasn't as bad a shape so still got a good deal in this trailer if you're new to the channel uh we paid 450 dollars this trailer has been a fixer upper go back search uh the channel for the trailer videos and watch them because uh this thing's came a long ways um and i don't have a ton of money into it so it's just my time so all that back there has to be painted you can see the reflection right now how wavy it looks i hate that but budget build budget build just like y'all i'm not rich so i'm gonna get back to work here at the shop that's gonna have to wait till All this right, weekend so we picked up this cool cabinet off of the local auction so if you've been watching the channel i've already told you where these auctions are at and how to get these auctions uh i went over it in the uh old cars video the classic videos and i even went over it in the uh i think the books video where we bought some really antique books went over it in a couple of videos on where i buy all of this cool little stuff at for cheap so this cabinet i seen on there i think i paid like 23 dollars for it it has the nice locking um handles but the cool thing that i liked about this as soon as i seen it was that it has a door on both sides so i've been looking for some cabinets for the trailer harbor freight makes some little ones that are narrow a little bit longer i think they're like 75 dollars per cabinet um you know and they're smaller than this so when i seen this and i caught that it had two plus it has a built-in power strip across the face of it i was like oh i gotta have that for the trailer because saw saw cut off wheel but we're gonna cut it right down the center so i'm taking this handle off because obviously I don't need this handle i'm gonna take the wheels off of it and i'm gonna split it down the center it is 20 inches this way so it's gonna be 10 inches deep on both sides it already has a little shelf in it that we will cut in half uh the shelf actually doesn't even go the full distance so i'll probably just try to take the shelf out um and then figure out what i want to do but uh it has some nut certs in it right here on this side that side has one or two nut certs um so i don't know if i can use any of that but um that one's pretty cool because it has cable pass throughs and it has the power strip on that side whereas this side has nothing so we're going to cut this in half bolt this up against the wall in the trailer and make basically a longer uh, 10 inch. So we're gonna take this side, flip it 
side by side to make a countertop or we're going to double stack it on top of each other to make a locker style haven't quite figured out what i want to do with it yet but i do know that i want to cut it in half so i'm gonna go ahead and get that cut in half at the shop where it's a little easier to make noise and make a mess um, than at the house and then throw it in the trailer so there we go cut it in half and see what i'm saying so now we can make two locker style cabinets and then this one in here will have your power strip built in obviously so you can run a uh, cord if you needed to up through there if you wanted to tie that power strip in and then this one would just be empty and you got these like i said nut certs in here if you wanted to uh you know mount the front of the shelves with some nut certs and then maybe screw the back against the wall um whatever it's uh it's nice i mean i i really like it things can work out perfect and then on the sides it actually has these holes this bolt goes in where the handle was so we'll be able to flip these around and through bolt it if we want to and then the tops we'll probably put a little bit of foam in the foam that come with it is a little thicker than i like so the, uh, I mean, it's not terrible but the foam that come with it is pretty thick well i guess it does have a lip so i want some kind of foam that has a lip but this foam is tore all up so i not be able to use it i'll get some other kind of uh foam or something to put in the top and then the wall would be here and so you could sit stuff up here and if you leave it here you know a couple tools or some nuts and bolts when you're going down the road it's got the little lip that it won't vibrate off so uh, as soon as i seen this my wheels started turning and i was like man this is gonna be amazing or like i said we stack them on top of each other like that and now we have a locker style cabinet you know and that might save some space versus having a long one but i would like i mean if you do the locker style cabinet then the only thing is you're losing the the bench top i mean you got up here because this won't be the roof but you're you losing you know some of the some of the top of the bench and it's actually dented right there so it doesn't sit flush which this would be on the bottom anyway because that way the plug is in the center so that would work out fine but um i don't know if i want to do locker style or what so i'm gonna throw it in the trailer and then we'll figure it out this weekend but for 26 bucks 25 bucks whatever i paid 20 30 uh you just can't go wrong with this man so them auctions i'm telling y'all everything i tell y'all on this channel is to help y'all out i'm trying to show y'all where you can get the stuff and these auctions are in your area um trying to get y'all the deals so let's throw this in there i might cut up my toolbox still on the fence about that and uh let's get to the house all right so i got started and i said well some people are new to the channel so let's catch everybody up let's turn off this fan um so this is our trailer project if you go back and look at some of our previous videos you'll see how this whole thing was wrecked in the rear this was a total uh loss uh insurance trailer so we uh the whole back from about there the whole roof was collapsed down all the cables destroyed the whole back half destroyed so we fixed the whole roof system we redid the uh, metal you can see where we used white metal uh rehung uh, all of our springs redid our tensions put a light bar up for reverse lights that come on when you're backing up put our overhang lip up put brand new lights in it brand new cam bars brand new cables brand new plywood uh redid all the framing in the rear of the door redid all the sheet metal um all of this side was completely destroyed so we re have redone uh all the sheet metal on here uh, we haven't painted the trailer yet it's all gonna get painted probably a gun metal gray haven't finished our trim haven't finished our door uh we redid a lot of the floor structure uh down in here uh this was tore all up that whole back of that box was completely ripped out uh so we redid a bunch of metal work in there so definitely go back and check out our uh, trailer videos just scroll back in our videos and scroll through our stuff because there's a lot of information coming here and started framing in these rough cabinets uh, we have the trailer where it's running off 120 so while it's uh, at the house right now i can run a drop cord out uh, the orange drop cord to the front of the trailer and the whole trailer has 120 which will be how it's at the racetrack with a generator but there will be 12 volt lights in here and the winch will be 12 volts so obviously if you're out street racing or if you don't have the generator hooked up yet you'll still have electricity. So we've come through here and rough framed out our main part of our cabinets. So I was kind of figuring out what was going on and I've had, you know, a month or so, over a month to think about it while I was doing the Fox body. I'm gonna take this metal back down and actually go wood and paint it. Um, I'm gonna get this show on the road this weekend, basically. So I was gonna cover all of these cabinet doors in aluminum uh, to make it, you know, look like an actual race trailer with uh, aluminum doors and everything, but um, I want to get the show on the road, get this thing finished up. Um, I don't think there's no reason to do all of that. Uh, I think I can make this thing look really good with 
uh, painting everything. So I think I'm gonna do the cabinets black, walls gray. I'll probably leave this aluminum up on the back walls just so you can wipe it down like a backsplash. Uh, we have some wood grain linoleum that I got from an auction that we're probably just gonna put down up here in the office area, you know, the workbench area. Um, we're about to hang these on the wall. I sanded the wall down right there so it's smooth. We'll paint inside the cabinets black when it's done so the background, the wall will be black and we'll run a strip inside there when we're done. To trim all that out, we'll caulk around the edges. We'll probably trim around them. Um, yeah, I was gonna put them down here, but when you measure from the cabinet to that and you measure the front of the car, it's extremely freaking tight, meaning there's no way you're either gonna shimmy around it to get a strap on it, so uh, on that side. Um, so with that said, I uh, decided I'm just gonna put the cabinets up high so that the floor space is still there versus, you know, killing the floor space. Um, I think I am gonna do on this corner, we'll go over it when we get there, possibly a pulley system where when the car gets up to about right here, you know, the front of the door, basically you'll go ahead and walk over here and hook the control arm to a, uh, you know, a point in the floor that has maybe a pulley on it or maybe one of the tie downs that just has a pulley that clips in and then it will probably run over here to an anchor point, possibly, possibly the same anchor point that the other front wheel is on and you'll strap both front wheels from right here. So it will pull down and then pull over this way and you'll crank it, um, you'll crank it down like that. Or, you know, I don't know. That's, I was, I was kind of thinking about, you know, doing it like that. I don't know, I'm still brainstorming of the fast, I want this car to be able to be loaded in here fast and easy as possible. Uh, that's my, that's my thoughts right now. So I'm going to get at it. I'm going to get these cabinets on the wall and I'm going to try to catch up a bunch of stuff. And then when I make some progress, I'm going to, um, update y'all.